Good morning and happy Easter. Uh, we are we are in a new season, and with that, we get to joyfully gather around the table for a feast of communion in this Easter season this morning, and we get to bring out our alleluias and our hallelujahs like, like they were going out of style or something. I don't know. There's a lot of them in this service this morning, which is really fantastic. And we, we picked and, and pulled some alleluias from all around the world in our song this morning. And so you'll find some songs that probably you know really well. You might find a couple that you know less well. Um, but they all have alleluias that they join, that they invite you to join in singing. Um, we're going to take a moment before we begin to run through our gospel acclamation, though, because it does actually bring you hallelujahs in not only one or two, but in three different parts. So we figured it might be good to just run through it once a little bit. Um, it's an African hallelujah, um, and I'll sing one part, invite you to sing it back. We'll sing the next part. We'll all sing it. We'll sing the third part. We'll all sing it. You'll be ready to go. So it goes like this. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Give that a try. Hallelujah. You have to, but you have to count. You have to count to three before you start in. That's the tricky part about the second one. But once it comes in, it goes like this. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Give that a try. So ready and one, two. just the final, the third part, and it goes like this. It's a very kind of typical bass line. There's lots of firsts and fourths and fifths and all of those things, and it goes like this. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You can all tell I'm not a tenor or a bass, but let's all give it a try. So, who? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Excellent. Um, a couple words of thanks before I make you stand up and we sing it all before we start our welcome. Because it's morning and just because. Uh, but many thanks to ACDA and to NAFME for hosting this morning, um, to Solvay for helping us out with drumming this morning, and to you all for coming. Let's stand, and before we begin with our greeting, let's try it all together. And you can pick out whichever part you want, and we'll see how it goes. So you'll at least know that we'll get through it by the time we get to the gospel acclamation. All right. Note. All right, ready? One, two. Hallelujah! Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the life beyond all death, the joy beyond all sorrow, our everlasting home. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen.
there before the, so before the psalm, isn't there? It's the danger of having the song on the next page. Let us pray. O oh God, you gave your only son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Good morning. We read Psalm 114 responsively. Hallelujah! When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary, and Israel God's dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back? You mountains that you skipped like rams, you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water and flint stone into a flowing spring. A reading from the Gospel of John, the 20th chapter. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings, wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been laid on Jesus' head, not lying when the linen wrappings had rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. Word of God, word of life.
Easter song proclaims Christ comes again and every Lord's Day. And Christ comes to us and is with us as we break bread at the table, as we join together in communion. And so today, as we celebrate Easter here at Concordia, we gather around the table. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on the third day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so, with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to all to drink saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Drink it often in remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven. and all are welcome to come, draw near, and eat of the feast. You may be seated as we prepare.
And now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, keep you in God's care, in God's compassion, in God's eternal life all your days. Amen. Receive the blessing. The God of all grace, who has called you to eternal glory in Christ, restore, support, strengthen, and bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Go in peace, share the good news.